Welcome to the um, Computer Network course. In this second video, we will um, continue our uh, discussion on computer networks and the internet. And in this particular video, we learn about network age. Okay. So this is the uh, the whole roadmap of the video where we learn about host, access network, and the physical media. So if we take a closer look at the internet structure, uh, we understand that internet it, uh, consists of a network of networks. So what, what are we going to discuss um, in today's video? So we will, first we will learn about the circle then there uh, those um, those component of the internet are called um, network edges because they are located in the edges of the network obviously so they are consist of host uh, when it's clients computer laptops cars uh, and all and also the servers uh, you can see the the stack of computer part on my uh, right hand side and servers are often located in the data center uh, in um, different with the um, computer laptops or another uh, devices that located within um, our our environment like residential area uh, offices or schools the second part we will also learn how they communicate each other so we will need the access network consists of wired and also uh, wireless communication links for the host and end system to be able to communicate each other and also uh, well the central part of the internet the isp and all or we call also the network core uh, which consists of interconnected routers and network of networks in this particular um, video we'll learn more about the network age and also the access networks and physical media okay the question the important question for this video how to connect the host or the end system to the edge router, router which is located on the on the network edge so uh, to, to for for the host or for the end system to be connected to the edge router we will learn some case studies there are at least three examples of how this um, host, host or end system uh, being connected to the to the internet the first one is residential uh, area like home like our our uh, usual residential home and also we learn about um, our bigger organizational uh, network like schools offices and all uh, both can be defined by a wire uh, and also wireless and we will also learn the example of specific wireless uh, mobile access networks like uh, Wi-Fi and also cellular network like 4G and 5G. Okay, let's take a look of this diagram. This is the first example of cable-based access from uh, our residential area to the internet. We can see that uh, this is our home. Uh, wh whether we are using Wi-Fi within our home, they are usually connected using a cable a particular cable to the internet service provider any internet service provider uh, you are subscribed uh, there will provide some kind of cable access to your home from their infrastructure this cable divide the channel using frequency division multiplexing to differentiate between channels uh, that are being used for um, sending and receiving the message uh, let's take a look more into this diagram the first example of the cable-based access is using fiber optic. Uh, one of the uh, ISP example that you that are using um, fiber optic is like first media. So basically, from the edge router of the ISP, they are connecting um, the infrastructure to your house using this fiber optic cable. Uh, the, the transmission of the cable is separated into two different uh, uh, channel. The first one is for upstream, for upload, and this, the, the other one for, for downstream. Uh, usually, the downstream cable channel is ha has a bigger 
transmission rate compared to the upstream access. Well, you have to think why the downstream access usually are commonly uh, um, surfaces by a bigger transmission rate or bandwidth compared to the upstream. The second one, still using um, cable-based access for residential area, if the first case using uh, fiber optic, the second one is using digital subscriber line. What's DSL, digital subscriber line? Basically, the DSL utilizes the existing telephone cables for um, transmitting the message for internet. Uh, in, um, in this example, for example, um, you can see like um, in the home ISP, if you want to um, set up the indie home services for your um, home, you will be required to have a telephone cable uh, so that so they can set up these cables for um, internet uh, services. Because of using existing telephone, they didn't have to uh, build a different infrastructure. But as far as I know, the transmission rate, the bandwidth for the DSL or for telephone cable is lower than the fiber optic that we have been discussed in previous slide. Um, still uh, uh, discussing about home networks. Now we can see the uh, the networks that are consists of wired, wired, and also wireless um, network. Okay. This is the example of simple residential access network. The first tools, the first um, equipment that uh, that should be there for access, for providing the internet is modem. Modem can be uh, fiber optic based or DSL based. The second one is the router, the X circle one. And there probably uh, a devices or a physical desktop that connected using the cable or internet cable, Ethernet cable. And there is an access point for wireless access network. In particular, common um, devices on your home, Wi-Fi access point, router, and also modem usually located within the same uh, devices, the same equipment. They build this three function into one. Um, integrated devices and from these devices you can connect using Ethernet cable to your computer or, or, else, or else you can also connect through the Wi-Fi using your phone or solar laptop. Now the, the next example is specifically discussing about wireless access network. Um, so how about the wireless access network? So the wireless um, communication network can be divided into two different parts. The first one is wireless local area networks. Typically, this infrastructure built within a home, a house, or a particular building. So the, the scope of the area access is limited into a particular building. Usually, we are we connect um, uh, connect the host or end system using Wi-Fi protocol and graphic technology and the capacity is uh, kind of less lesser than cable-based uh, communication link. And the second one is wider um, wireless area network. In this case, we, we, we usually use um, cellular network for connecting um, the host or end system uh, for the internet. Usually this uh, particular access network is wider than wireless LAN and uh, examples of the technology that are being used for this particular network is uh, 4G, the latest one, and also 5G. Soon in the future, we will um, uh, use the 5G for communicating using cellular network. Okay, now, how about the enterprise network, the bigger organization, like schools, uh, offices, universities? Uh, usually, they, they combine both wireless and wired um, communication link for connecting their host or their end system within their organization. Why? Because, well, as you as you may know, the wired infrastructure is uh, currently limited and hard to build uh, because it's static. You know, you have to uh, build static uh, PC desktop, uh, computer labs, and set up the wired connection to them. But how about the users or the uh, staff, the workers that are mobile from one building to another building using their own portable devices. So they also will set up the 
a wireless access network using a wireless access point or Wi-Fi. Okay. The next part, how um, the data center networks uh, works because they are also part of the edge network but have um, a very substantial differences with the host or a uh, common end system. They are usually have a big capacity because they have to serve millions and also millions users uh, requesting the services like website or, or, or else. So basically they have similar infrastructure but with bigger transmission and bandwidth links. Okay, now we will learn well if um, you are a host how they actually sending the packets of data so the computer will take application message as a packet the packet some application might have bigger bigger message to be sent so they will chunk the package into smaller package of bits and this packet will be transmitted into using the link using a particular transmission uh, rate error or bandwidth error. Uh, we can simply calculate the time uh, needed to transmit L bits packet into the link by dividing the, cap uh, the size of the package L bits to, to the bandwidth R. So we talk about the link now. What, is, what are the link? The link is the physical media, the actual media that that is um, sending the bits of bits of the data uh, over the internet. The first example is twisted pair, it's wire, copper wires. The second one is coaxial cable, similar but has um, bigger transmission rate. The third one is fiber optic, obviously have much much more bigger transmission speed from the coaxial cable and also twisted pair. And that's all for the wire. How about wireless? Well, we are using radio, electromagnetic signal, signal for transmitting the packet. The examples uh, of the radio link types such as uh, Wi-Fi and also uh, cellular network. And there are also the smaller um, version of um, uh, wireless communication called Bluetooth. Maybe you, you are uh, familiar with this. There are uh, wider access. Uh, radio link such as microwave this is for radio television and also the satellite communication so that's all um, the discussion about the network edge see you in the next video bye bye